Hey everybody, welcome to episode nine of our fall 21 workout Wednesday video series. This is our second to last episode. And so we're going to talk about tapering and we're going to talk about the final workout, the week of the marathon that we do that I would suggest for you guys. Uh, and then all we'll have left is episode 10, which is next week. And we're going to talk about the race itself, which is the ultimate workout, right? Um, and I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who's been watching these videos. We, we had a lot of people in Boston come up to us and say, oh, I've been watching the videos. Thanks so much. Uh, we love how you're breaking it down for us. And uh, that really means a lot because that's why we're doing them. Uh, we're, we're, we're doing them so you guys can get some more ideas for yourselves uh, and, and try to use some of these things in your own training. So here we go for episode nine. It's uh, a little bit about the taper and a little bit about that final workout and and um, and here it goes. So when 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 you talk about tapering for a marathon, I have of course seen uh, many different articles, thoughts, ideas, concepts uh, when it comes to this, but I like to keep it as simple as possible. Basically, you're, what you're trying to do is freshen up for the race, and I, I've seen more, but I like two weeks of of quote unquote tapering. Um, or, or peaking, if you want to call it that. Um, and, and what you're trying to do in that phase is you're trying to absorb all the work that you've done during the course of the segment. And then you're trying to uh, go to the line on race day as, as fresh and ready as possible. Uh, people mess it up though, for sure. You can do too much and you can do too little. Um, the way that we try to do it here is and, and, and I really strongly believe that this is the best way to do it is yes, you are pulling back on your overall volume, but you're trying to stay in the basic flow of training that you've had all segment long. So you don't want to, uh, you don't want to shock your system by pulling back on everything that it is that you've been doing. That feels really weird for the body, but you do want to pull back on volume. And so what I mean by that is, um, let's say you've been running 60 miles a week. Um, okay. Yes. We want to pull that down to maybe 45 miles, uh, two weeks out. And, and again, the week out. Okay. You don't have to use that exactly. Uh, but the point is you're, you're pulling back on that volume, but you're not running slower than you normally do. You're still running your easy runs at the same pace as you're, you're used to running them, which I hope you're doing that correctly and taking them nice and easy, but, but you're not jogging. You're not shuffling along just because it's the taper. You're, you're just running your easy runs, but whereas maybe they were six miles, maybe now they're four uh, for the athletes on our team. You know, maybe they're used to running 10 to 12 miles every morning. Maybe some of those miles, some of those uh, easy runs become eight um, and, and that is how you get that lower number at the end of the week, um, just by taking off little bits here and there, uh, rather than three days off in a row or something. That's not what the taper is. It's just taking a little bit off of, of what you normally do. Uh, and that includes the workouts. So you're still doing hard workouts during the course of those last two weeks. Um, and you're really actually doing them at the same kind of pace you would normally do a hard workout, but you just, it's just less volume. Um, which brings me to um, the workout that I'm going to talk about here. So the, the week of the race, usually on Wednesday, if it's a Sunday race, but sometimes logistics and the itinerary get in the way and we have to move it around. But usually Wednesday uh, of, of race week, we'll do a workout where we do two miles at marathon effort, eight by 400 at 30 minute race pace, and then another two miles at marathon effort. Uh, we usually go down to sea level or clo as close as we can get. So lower elevation for us uh, so that we can actually run real marathon pace. So we can feel that pace on our legs for the two mile uh, repeats. And then that eight, four, eight by 400 just feels nice on the legs to move a little bit faster. That's, that's what we're trying to do. And look, that's six miles worth of volume. Uh, but when you think about the marathon and it's 26 miles long, it's only a quarter of the race. So it's like a miler running one 400. Um, and if you're used to doing big workouts, 
like some of the workouts we've described over the course of this series, that workout is actually not a lot of volume and it's not too crazy. Um, and, and our athletes have, have really, our athletes have really liked it over the years and it, it keeps them in the flow of what they're used to doing. We do a lot of work like that midweek where we do something uh, at, at or near marathon effort then something a little quicker and then go back to, to marathon effort at the end. So it, it feels normal uh, to them. It's just less volume. Um, you know, we've talked over the course of this series about adjusting that sort of steady state marathon pace type work um, for athletes that are running four hours, five hours in the marathon. And the, the, the one thing I would say about this particular workout is I actually think it's better to just go ahead and do it at your goal marathon pace, because this is one of your, if not your final opportunity to practice that exact pace before the race. And of course, you're getting the 400s at much faster than race pace. You're, you're, you're getting some work in that's that's faster than race pace. Those two milers on either end are really just practice. I mean, pure practice to try to get used to that rhythm. So um, if, you're, if your goal marathon pace is seven minutes per mile, you're running two miles at seven minute pace, so 14 minutes. Then you're looking at the charts. You're saying, hey, what could I race at for a half hour or 30 minutes of running? You're doing your 400s at that. And then you're going back and you're running another two mile uh, repeat at that seven minute pace. Now let's talk rest in between. So what we usually do is to, we do the two mile at marathon pace. Then we do a half mile jog. Then we do the eight by 400 at 30 minute race pace with 200 jog recovery. Then we just take two minutes after that number eight, that eighth uh, 400, and then we repeat and, and do that two miler again. Um, that creates a little bit of extra volume for us because we're used to our workouts having a lot of volume. If you're not used to that kind of volume, I would actually just do the two miler, then three minutes rest, um, three to four minutes rest. Then I would do the eight by 400 with a minute rest and then take an extra minute after that eighth one, and then do that two mile again. That's how you can lower the volume on the day. Uh, but again, if you're used to a lot of volume, I think the jogs are actually good because they keep you in that sort of rhythm uh, that you're used to. So hopefully that makes sense. I would, I, I would highly recommend this workout the week of the race. I think a lot of people do a little, um, uh, I think a lot of people, their, their, their last workout is actually too light. It's not what they're used to. And again, that can make you feel weird. And if you've been doing less volume over the course of those two weeks, um, it's actually nice to do a workout. You don't want to feel, you don't want to feel lethargic uh, come race day. You still want to be in that natural flow. And so uh, that's what we do. We'll talk a little bit more about that again next week, uh, that, that, that last couple of days, or, or we'll expand on this, I guess, uh, next week and talk about those last couple of days. And of course, we'll really dig into the race itself next week. And that'll be our final, um, final episode in this 10 episode series. So thank you very much. Uh, two miles, eight by 400, two miles. Try it the week of your race. See you guys.